Hello you beautiful people, it is Tooth here, Tooth Decay. Today I'm going to be making a beautiful peppercorn sauce. Got some absolutely stunning ingredients, so let's take a look. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of sunflower oil. I've actually got some chicken fat, so I'm going to use that instead just to give a little bit more flavour. Four shallots that have been finely diced. Eight teaspoons of peppercorns. I'm using mixed peppercorns. You can use black if you want. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Half a teaspoon of salt. Six teaspoons of brandy. Mm -mm -mm. 240 ml of double cream. And then 360 ml of... I'm using chicken stock to go with the chicken fat. You can use beef stock, vegetable stock whatever you want and I'm just keeping an eye on my temperature because I want the shallots to soften but not to color once you're happy with the shallots that's been about three minutes I guess I'm gonna go in with a brandy and I'm gonna bring my temperature up just a little bit because I want that to bubble away for about a minute right we've now gone in with the Worcestershire sauce and the stock And that is now, I'm going to bring that up to a boil for about five minutes. So I don't want to move this around too much, but what I do want to do is just about once a minute, just go in and make sure nothing's catching on the bottom of the pan. And then leave it alone for another minute to do its thing. So we're now going to go in with the final ingredient, which is the cream. So I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit because I don't want the cream to split. And then once we hit a simmer, I'm going to just turn the heat off and let it sit there and cool down for a bit. So that has just reached a really gentle simmer. I guess I've taken about five minutes to get it up to that heat. Thickened up a little bit as you can see. So I'm going to give it one final taste. Peppercorns have softened up nicely now. You've got that beautiful deep rich flavour in the shallots. The salt levels are good. You got a bit of heat from the pepper. You got the twang of the Worcestershire sauce. You got the richness of the brandy and the cream. So that is now gonna come off the heat. And then what I'm gonna do, once it's cooled down, is transfer it into one of these. But then they can go into the fridge overnight once they're completely cooled. And tomorrow, to reheat it, all I need to do is put it into a pot and then gently increase the temperature again until it's piping hot. And there we have it, folks. Two jars of beautiful, fresh, creamy peppercorn sauce. All right. Laters, potatoes, off your pop. 